Chrono Trigger was and still is one of the greatest video games ever created. Even though I played it first pretty late, I loved it and it remains one of my personal favorites. Yet despite being a huge classic, every single re-release of the game has been problematic. And this video is going to look at this title specifically from the recent experience with the PC port of the game, which had many fixes but remains not great. Yet for most people this is going to be the only legally available version of the game. I could spend minutes and hours talking about how good everything about this game still is. Despite being almost 30 years old at this point, so much about Chrono Trigger doesn't just hold up, but feels better than a lot of the games we get today. It looks amazing, the music is beautiful, the story is uh, somehow both complex and very simple at the same time, being one of the best time travel stories I have ever seen or read in my life. The combat system is very simple to understand, but has many cool nuances and it's so stylish and immediate, liking the boredom you can start getting with JRPG combat encounters. It constantly keeps things fresh, and a lot of its elements are still inventive and fun today. And it is the game that made New Game Plus as a concept into what it is today. But most importantly, Chrome Trigger isn't just the sum of great parts, as it manages to elevate every fantastic thing about itself to levels beyond what you can expect when just dissecting its components. Despite being just, and I'm putting a lot of quotation marks here, just around 20 hours long for the first playthrough, it's the most jam-packed 20 hours you can get not just from an RPG, but any game, period. Even in 2022, it remains a benchmark of how to make your game interesting for more than a couple of hours. But it isn't without flaws. The already mentioned New Game Plus, for example, feels somewhat underwhelming. There is a promise of many alternate endings, most of which are supposed to play into the idea of creating time paradoxes, but in reality, vast majority of these endings are just quick gags that go nowhere. And replaying the game over and over again, even with how fun it is mechanically, can get a bit annoying since no scenes are skippable. Though I have to give this new port credit for at least adding a fast-forward combat option, even if the implementation of this feature is crappy. What isn't cool about this port is that all visual features that aren't trying to look exactly as they did in the original look horrible. The high-res mode is disgusting, every time there is a sprite scaling or some sort of pseudo 3D movement is just ugh. The PC port also retains slightly different color grading to the game that was inherited from the DS port, and the animated cutscenes from the PS1 port, while cool, are out of place and sadly you cannot disable them permanently. Additionally, there are moments and jokes that just didn't really age well. Thankfully not too many, but occasionally you get to groan at the screen because the game says something that might have been okay-ish in the 90s, but isn't anymore. The worst parts about Chrono Trigger on PC are entirely on rare releases, however. Where already mentioned smaller changes like color grading can be okay, where retranslated text is occasionally actually much better than it used to be, the new content that was added since the DS port is absolutely abhorrent. If you attempt it, it will ruin your enjoyment from the game, it breaks the flow of the title entirely, and it's everything the main game is not. It's tedious, unfun, grindy, and pointless. Even the new ending path that is supposed to tie in with Chrono Cross is just not worth the time or effort to do. So when you get those new portals appear with the Lost Sanctum and the New Game Plus ones, just ignore them. And the rest of the problems are unique to the PC port. It can still crash, still things render incorrectly, like numbers higher than a certain amount. There are audio bugs, scaling bugs, a game may fail to launch for you entirely. After many patches, it's a far better experience than it was on launch, but it's still not acceptable for a game like this.
Chrono Trigger is amazing. I, I wish everyone could at least try it out, even if you're not into RPGs, as it's such a memorable experience. Yet unless we get a proper pixel remaster style release, something that this game deserves, it's very hard to recommend playing the PC port. I still will, because the wonder of the original game shines through, and the issues aren't as numerous as they were. I was glad to replay the title yet again, but I'm still hungry. That is, for a better release so I could enjoy replaying it even more.